Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to Dose of Dom Reacts, where you pick the video that I react to. Let's talk about something real quick before we get to in this in a nutshell video. I thought about something and I've been looking on Sporacle and there are a lot of fun quizzes on there. Let me know if you guys would like to see me do some quizzes, test my knowledge, see how smart, see how dumb I am. Let me know if you guys would like that. Um, I've just been thinking about throwing different things in here to just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Give this channel some more life. Also, let me know if there's any Reddit Reddit um, communities you would like for me to go to and react to. Um, things of that nature. You know, it's still reactions. It's still, you know, in that nature of the internet that we're doing here. So let me know. Drop some quizzes down below. Drop some Reddit um communities down below i'll check them out i really will and we'll see how that goes um i also have been um, reacting to reddit posts on my twitch my twitch is dose of dom 421 on twitch follow that again i appreciate your guys' support so 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 much you guys are awesome today we have another in a nutshell video the deadliest virus on earth and 95% of y'all are not subscribed. I'm just gonna put my headphones on after that. <laughs> Let's get to it and see what the deadliest virus is on Earth. In the 1970s, thousands of chicken heads rained from the sky in Europe, making foxes and other what wildlife confused and very happy. Why? They were filled with a vaccine to fight the deadliest virus known to humanity. Since the 1930s, a rabies epidemic had been sweeping across wildlife populations in Europe, and humans wanted to finally get rid of the virus once and for all. Rabies is named after Lyssa, the ancient Greek spirit of mad rage, and has been haunting us for at least 4,000 years. It can turn animals into angry beasts and humans into zombies that oh fear water. Gosh. But what makes Lyssa fascinating is not just how bizarre and deadly its infection is, but also how incredibly good it is at avoiding our defenses. Hmm. So rabies? Hmm. Viruses exist on the edge between life and death, hardly more than a few genetic instructions that need living cells to multiply. Right. The Lyssa virus is simple even for a virus. It has only five genes, that is the instructions for five proteins, that let it solve complex problems, infect a mammal, avoid its immune system, travel to its brain, make more of itself, and infect new hosts. Wow. Let's see what happens if you get infected. It all starts with a bite, most likely by a dog carrying millions of viruses in its saliva, pushing them deep into the tissue. Mm. The goal is your nerve cells, your neurons. They are living electrochemical wires, transferring signals throughout your body and can stretch for up to one and a half meters with their cellular machinery on one end and a terminal on the other. Dang. The terminal is where cells talk to each other by passing chemicals that convey information. Let's yes, this stuff is deadly, but at the same time, I, I, this stuff is so interesting. So, so, so interesting. Like the way our body works, the way bacteria and viruses try to come in and infect and our body fights them off. And I just think that's cool as hell. So probably binds to the receptors our bodies are amazing. crucial for this process and slips inside the unsuspecting nerve cells. Inside, the virus has to solve a big problem. It needs mm -hmm. to get to the cellular machinery to take over the cell and make more viruses. And because neurons are pretty long, this can be far away. There is a solution at hand, though. Cells have microtubules spanning their insides that give them structural integrity. Mm. But they also provide a track system for a specialized delivery system. Dynion motors are actual motors that use energy and deliver packages. They're made from 50 different proteins, 10 times more than the virus, and look like a little pair of shoes. Lissa uses one of its five proteins to hijack this amazing system and order it to head for the nucleus. Wow. What's the immune system doing to prevent all of that? Well, unfortunately, not much. Usually, when a virus attacks, your civilian cells are crucial in activating your immune response. Yeah. They notice that they've been infected and release hundreds of thousands of a special family of proteins, the interferons that, well, 
interfere with viruses. Interfere and kill and destroy the virus. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll have to signify a lot, but in a nutshell, interferons alert your immune system to make antivirus weapons. But they do much more. They tell civilian cells to turn down their protein factories for a while, which means that viruses can't replicate efficiently anymore. And interferons tell your cells to become super transparent, which is important, because how can your immune cells notice that your civilian cells are infected when viruses hide inside them? Your body solves this by creating display windows into their insides called MHC class 1 molecules. Wow. Cells constantly produce stuff to stay alive. And to showcase to your immune cells what's going on inside them, they take random samples of their products and put them into these tiny display windows to give a peek inside. Interferons tell your cells to make way more display windows and become super transparent. Wow. If a cell is infected and forced to make virus parts, your immune cells will see these parts in a window and order the infected cell to kill itself and all the viruses trapped within. This is one of the most powerful methods of wiping out a viral infection. Unfortunately, Lissa blocks your neurons from making interferons and stays wow. basically invisible to your immune system. Wow, thanks, Lissa. Trying to be invisible and crap and kill me and crap. Thanks, bro. Like, come on, man. Just die. Let me live. Sheesh. In contrast to many other viruses, when it replicates, it doesn't kill its host, which would also trigger alarm systems. Instead, it stealthily jumps from neuron to neuron, wow. very slowly making its way to your brain. Wow. This phase can take weeks to months and very rarely even years and depends on a bunch of things, like if the bite was in your face or foot, or how many viruses got into Dang, your muscles. Bruh. Lissa is a patient monster. Until it reaches its goal, your brain stand. Finally, the immune system catches on that something isn't right and reacts. It dispatches some of your most powerful antivirus cells, killer T cells, to seek and kill infected cells and wipe out the enemy. In other viral infections, this would be a turning point but in rabies, the T-cells are rushing towards their doom. Mm. Simple Lissa, with its five proteins, plays a UNO reverse card, using the immune <sighs> system's ingenuity against itself. Not the UNO reverse. Your central nervous system is a very fragile part of your body, and so the immune system has to be very careful. A few haywire immune cells in your brain is a quick way to die. So they aren't free to enter your nervous system. They have to be invited in and can be kicked out. Facts. To protect themselves, your nerve cells can order T cells to self destruct if they think they're overreacting. Like a kamikaze. Basically, it's willing to risk itself for your betterment. And Lissa figured out a way to make infected neurons express this order. So, as your powerful defense wow. cells so arrive, it. they are ordered to commit suicide. Wow. Now, the virus infiltrates the brainstem. Once this stage is. So basically, Liz is using something good and turning it something bad so she can, can, well, so the virus can continue to infect you. That's, wow. The biggest Uno reverse card I've ever seen in life. Breached, you are going to die. Teachers of tomorrow. I oh, was no, to not the ad. Join your teacher certification program. <laughs> we make joining our. How Lissa kills. One of the most irritating things about the Lissa virus is that we still don't know exactly how and why an infected person dies. Our usual idea of viruses causing damage is by multiplying rapidly, killing their host cells once they've made enough copies, triggering a massive immune reaction that also does a lot of damage. Mm. But this doesn't seem to be what happens here. Brain tissue of rabies patients shows minimal, sometimes non-existent damage. Instead of murdering everything in sight, it's currently thought that Lissa wreaks havoc by messing up the neuron communication inside your brain, so much so that it can't function anymore. Wow. This leads to symptoms like confusion, aggression, and paralysis. Oh. Now the virus begins to leave. Still traveling through neurons, it migrates away from the brain and heads for the salivary glands. This is remarkable because after traveling in one direction, the virus reverses its course. After decades of study, we don't know how this works. Lissa ends up saturating your saliva, ready for the irate mammal to bite another and repeat the cycle. While this seems like the beginning of a zombie outbreak, 
Luckily, there are no known cases of a human biting another and spreading rabies this way. But I'm pretty sure that is very possible. If a dog can bite you and create rabies, doesn't that mean a human could? I mean, of course we don't. But if that aggression becomes too much and they buy another human, couldn't that happen? Now, the end is near. You are rapidly developing encephalitis, a swelling of the brain with many mm. unpleasant neurological symptoms from mm. lethargy to paralysis. Slowly at first and then suddenly, organ after organ fails as you slip into a coma. There is no known effective therapy. Barely anyone has ever survived Lissa once symptoms begin to show. Wow. It is by far the deadliest virus we know. Except there is actually something that could save you, a vaccine. Rabies was one of the first diseases humans developed a vaccine for. As vaccines do, it prepares your immune system for a future attack, so it has the right weapons ready in high numbers. Mm -hmm. The horrific tricks of simple Lissa don't work once you are vaccinated. And the vaccine is special for another reason. Because Lissa is so slow in the first few weeks, it can be given to you after you've been exposed. So you can still be vaccinated after you've been bitten by an animal. I did know that. I did not know that after you've been bit, you can still, you'll be fine. That's actually good to know. That's actually, whew, boy, I tell you. Which is super important if you've had contact with a sick wild. My door dash already is here. Hold on. All right. So I am back. Got me some breakfast from McDonald's, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to grub after this while this is uploading let's get back to the video though had to give me a iced coffee baby mm, i'm good not bad in starbucks but it'll do let's get it animal say a bat because you often don't even notice a bite from tiny teeth facts rabies is a monster one that has followed our species around for thousands of years that our ancestors were terrified of and rightly so. It still kills around 60,000 people each year, wow. almost half of them children. We are far from eradicating this monster. It lurks in the shadows, in forests and animals of all kinds, ready to return in greater numbers if we ever forget how to keep it at bay or if we continue the trend of being suspicious of vaccines. See, now my thing is, I didn't know it was like 60,000. Wow, in the greater span of things, that's not a lot because there's so big billions of us. But the fact that it still kills 60,000, that's crazy. That's not a big number, though. It's really not. That means your likelihood of surviving is pretty damn good if you catch it in time. Let's hope that one day humanity slays this monster. Mm -hmm. So it can become, like most monsters, part of our imagination. There Fact. are much deeper levels of knowledge to explore about rabies than the glimpse we just showed you. But digging into sources and scientific information on your own can be intimidating. Very. So we've partnered with our friends from Brilliant to create an interactive course with hands-on lessons to guide you through some of the concepts we showed in this video. Brilliant is an interactive learning tool with over 60 courses in maths, science, and computer science. They make science accessible with a hands-on approach. Think of it as a one-on-one -on -one tutoring version of a Kurzgesagt video. That'd be really cool for kids. I know this is their ad, but you know, we watch the ads because we support every channel that we react to, regardless. Your experiment with how that's be cool for can reach your I wish we had that when I was a kid, man. Jeez, y'all kids are lucky. Brain based on its protein makeup or run simulations on rabies genetic evolution to explore how mutations created the deadly virus we know today. You can do things like manipulate energy to see how black holes are formed or control the expansion of space itself wow. to determine the ultimate fate of the universe. To get some behind the scenes science coaching on space and That's technology cool. and many more topics, go to brilliant.org slash nutshell and sign up for free. We're gonna keep that right up there while I do my outro. Support them please, cause this channel does so much research and all I do is commentate to it and they definitely entertain me. I know they entertain y'all because y'all watch these videos and eat them up like they're candy. And I enjoy it. I enjoy the conversations that come from these. I enjoy your guys' comments. I enjoy all these videos. 
again, let me know if y'all want to see me do some some quizzes on Sporacle or it, it could be anything. I react to anything and everything. Let me know. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. For real, for real. For real, for real, for real. For real, for real, for real. See you guys in the next video. I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday from now on. So if you know, it's because you stay to the end of the video. See you guys in the next video. Deuces.